I'm back. I'm back. I, I'm, I'm so excited, man. I, I hadn't been doing videos in a while, and I got to explain to y'all why. I was at the table working on my computer and just pulled it off the table and broke the whole laptop. Hard drive gone and everything. So, apologize. I had to get a new computer, new editing software, and I'm back now. You know, I'm back in the mix, and I can't wait to bring you guys some more videos and just keep this thing rolling and get it get it back going and uh, I love doing this I love fishing I love you know having y'all come along with me throughout the videos through the videos and so going to East Texas today Lake Tawakini um, it's 5 30 5 o'clock in the morning I'm tired but you know hey I'm back that's all I can say subscribe like comment do it all but keep your eyes glued to the screen watch the whole video and just hold on for the ride because i'm finna finna take it there so thank y'all for watching thank y'all all right guys i'm a little i'm up i'm up more than i was <laughs> feeling good about this trip kind of coming alive out here at flying j Trying to get a little gas. Put some gas off in the truck. Got a DJ. It's got this nice, beautiful 350. Let y'all check it out. Yeah. Boat on the back. So, we got to fill up. Put some gas in this thing. Hit the road. The way this thing pull. We should be there in no time. Swagney is probably about 40 some minutes away from us. So I can't wait. We're going to explore some brush piles today. A buddy of mine told me about. See if I can find him. And uh, just get ready. See some fish catches. All right, backing down in the water. Got to the lake. Buddy DJ, the people's champ, backing me down. He'll be in the boat in a minute. Y'all see him. So, got Mark out there. He's on the lake today, too, so he's gonna be following. We're after these high. we on the hunt for these crappie. Sloppy crappie. Hold on! Say, man, the boat waiting on you. Yeah, this dude right here think he cool. Yeah. This is what happens when you get uh, two cool people on the boat with you. Right here. It's going down, man. Say, man, what you doing there, buddy? With the phone? You, uh, the paparazzi or something follow you? Yeah. live, baby. I'm going live. Yeah. People's Champ finna get on the boat. That's right. Let's get it, man. DJ, the People's Champ. Now, you gotta get closer, dog. I'm a fat boy. Man, you got enough gap. Yeah, you, yeah. you seven feet. <laughs> you got hung up, buddy. Go get him, Tiger. Oh, you should probably hook, hung on the boat. Might have been hung on the side of the boat, man. Man. Guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what y'all prefer. Monofilament or braid. It's funny. God, it's funny going between the two. Braid, using the braid line and then coming back to the monofilament. It's is there you go. Let's see. Ah. That's a nice one. He alright. He alright. He alright. He might make the cut. He might be a 10 piece. Might look a little bit more than 10 You think he's a little bit more than 10? For me, 10. Nah, I, I think you I think your eyes are off. Mark, yeah, man. You do got, don't you got a lazy eye? Let's take him to the box, guys. Yeah, I got lazy eye. Oh. Oh, okay. Let's see what he got, guys. Come on, stop. Just calm down. Calm down. You know where you're going. All right. Yeah. Ten inches. I told you. Is that? A little more intense. Oh, man. 
Yeah, I, I will give him his credit, but guys, he's a little more than 10. Give him his space in that box. <clears throat> there you go. There you go. Oh, man. Now that, that's a good little, little hush puppy crappie. He's a little baby, but... Nah, he ain't no key. If he is a keeper, I ain't keeping. He too close. I mean, well, I don't. Nah. Nah, I ain't gonna try him. He need to. They need to be at least 11 inches. I would like to. I like to see 11 inches. Man, I'm being lazy. I am being lazy. I need to. I need to fix my top bait. God, one hit it on the drop. Good Lord. Hit it on the drop. That, ooh, that might not be a crappie. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. That might not be a crappie. Oh, he's a crappie foul. <laughs> Woo. That joker scared me because he wasn't swimming right. He's foul hooked. That let you know how many fish down there, guys. Foul hooking like that. That let you know. How many fish are down there? Mm. Little thick, healthy fish. Fish is very fat. Pretty fish too. Pretty. Got to get bigger. Got to get bigger. Let's drop back on down here and get another one. I caught that fish around 15, 15 feet. Even fishing, uh, like jigging with this, this mon God, with this monofilament, is totally different. Cause that, you know, with that braid, you can, uh, yeah, you, you can. definitely, you, you precise now. You know, you precise with your jig, like you, every motion is tight. You know, and you gotta compensate for the stretch on the monofilament with your uh, jigging. So it's not, it's not gonna give the same presentation of, of movement with. You know, braid versus monofilament. It's going to be a different, different motion that you uh, present down there too. All right, fellas, got a uh, came over to this new column. Saw it uh, stacked full of crappie. Let me turn the boat around here, right quick. I mean, it was stacked full of crappie and some other fish here. I don't know if it's catfish or hybrids or what, but it's some big fish down in between those crappie. And they're sitting in, in between these columns in the middle part of it. And there's a lot of bait fish up high on the columns. And you can see the crappie below them. So let's see if I can get, get a good old taker right quick. I started back fishing this monofilament and I gotta get used to the, the delayed reaction or the stretch basically. So I'm used to fishing with braid and that braid has no stretch. So I can really I can pin them real good real fast. But the monofilament gives you more enjoyment, gives you more fun, gives you more of a fight. So Let's see if we can pull them out of here first. I have to go a little deep. I'm fishing about 15. Drop down to 16. I'm going to drop a foot, a foot at a time. Kind of searching it out. So I can get some active fish. And I'll, I'll rotate around this column a little bit. It'll make them, sometimes if you, it'll, it'll make the active fish show themselves. on dropping until until I find the one that I need to find. So I'll drop down. And then when I get get to the bottom I'll work my way back up until I pinpoint exactly where the fish are located. Come on try more turn around. Yeah, to find where they're located. But 
It was absolutely loaded on these columns. I mean loaded. I should have took a uh, show y'all on the graph what it looked like when I was coming in. Didn't have the camera rolling. I might have to switch rods. I got different baits. Another rod. I'm actually I'm uh, also fishing a double jig rig. There you go. Yeah, there you go. I knew you was there, buddy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a doozy. That's a doozy. That's nice, buddy. Yeah, that's a doozy. He ain't uh, he ain't super mac. He ain't super mac, but you crop it with a fat back. It's got a and he's got a quick track to the grease. So I'm nervous about the next set of columns. One's right over there because that's where I saw those huge markings. Fish with this light tackle. Some of those big fish can wreck you. I mean wreck you. I mean it's fun. No doubt. Oh, there you go. Oh, that joke. That's a good one. Now that, that I, this is what I was, that's it. That's one of those big markings I saw. That joke is running drag. God. Sh Shoot. That joke is. Yep. I think he got me wrapped around his collar. Catfish. I don't know, he, he got me wrapped around his column, though. Yeah. Now, I don't know which way he went. Ah! Yeah. He not pulling like a catfish. Same oh, that's a nah, that ain't a crappie, buddy. You can, uh, you can take that wish, throw it away. That definitely ain't a crappie. I don't know, he can go in the box. Though. I just want to see him. There you go. I think that is a catfish. <laughs> God. You got net? Yeah, bring it on over. Yeah. Get away from these columns. They work them out of here. Woo! Oh, y'all see that? Got that Shimano working. Yeah, yeah. That's a. Uh, Definitely plenty of meat on that thing. Let's see if I can get you. That was the big markings I saw. Now that ain't no catfish. I knew it wasn't no catfish where he was running. That's that? a big old hybrid. Oh Jesus. That's a big hybrid. I knew that wasn't no catfish. He wasn't running like no DJ got him. Man, bring him over here. Bring him over here. Oh, yeah, they, they straight. Don't let him loose. Good Lord. Oh, jeez. Uh, I wish that was a crappie. That, I'd, be, that'd be world record right there, but if it was a crappie. <laughs> now, that's a good old hybrid. Look at that thing. Hold them up, man. Let the people see them. Yeah, but it's, a, it's quite a few of them now. And I saw them on the graph. The market. You gotta kiss them in the mouth. Man, I ain't kissing that fish in the mouth. You better put that fish where you're gonna put them. Shoot. Say, they in between over there too, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Good, yeah. Y'all want to y'all want in the hybrid life? Oh, I do. Man. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, they they eat good too, man. Oh, don't get me wrong. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> if I catch him, he he going to the state. <sighs> DJ, what you think about that that hybrid, man? Ooh, really? Yeah. Man. Woo! That was uh, <clears throat> that was some excitement. Yeah, that yeah, was some excitement. So, I'm gonna get on back in there and uh, get some more of that little. That's what uh, that summertime man. These fish you get in here and it'll be a mixed bag. You'll you'll have crappie down there, catfish, hybrid, striper, a blue cat. I mean, you have a mixed bag, and so you got to be careful. You got you got to have that drag set right when you are uh, fishing around.
where you know it's some big fish at. And see, I thought it was the next column over, but you know, there's some down here too. And I prefer a big, big crappie, but that was fun. That was fun. Mm, got a humdinger on her now. Oh, yeah. That's what I need. That's what I need. Ah, that's what we need. A porcupine. A little thick one right there. Going back. Hey man, these fish need to stay fresh. I don't want them dying. It's why it's hot out here. It's okay. It's okay, my friend. Slow as the action, Ben. I'm not sitting here playing with these fish. If one active fish want to come off a column, so be it. Stick and move. Stick and move. That's how you get your numbers. Exactly how you get your numbers. Stick and move. Ah, dang it. Yep, stick and move. They keep that rod in the water. We're going to stick and move. I had a trolling mode on super high. It's going to roost the tail out the back from the front. That's how fast we're going to be going. Just got a little bit of that game warden action out there. Yeah, they, they checked us. Make sure we were straight. I hope Mark got all this stuff out there. I hope he got all his action. Because if not, oh, I hope they're in the mood to uh, write some warnings if he ain't on point. Mark survived. They didn't take him in. Put him in the paddy wagon. Fellas, hey, didn't get the thousand fish catches like I thought. Well, I knew better than that. But that hybrid, y'all gotta, y'all gotta admit that hybrid was exciting. Uh, yeah, that bad boy had my forms burning. It was running. I didn't think I was gonna get it in, but hey, got it. So subscribe, like, comment, do all that stuff, man. I'm. I'm back on the scenes, ready to put these videos out. Just so excited. I'm gonna go fishing as much as my wife will allow me to go fishing. And I'm gonna try to bring the camera with me every time. So keep your eyes tuned. I got more coming, promise you. See y'all on the water.